Okay, so everyone's been buzzing about this metaverse thing, right? It's like yeah. it's everywhere you turn. But honestly, when you really get down to it, what is it? Right. Is it just a bunch of hype or is there something, you know, really groundbreaking going on here? Yeah. I mean, is it just a fancy way to play video games or is it something way, way bigger? Exactly. And some of these sources we dug into, mm -hmm. I mean, they're saying it could completely change how we live. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. How we work, how we learn, the whole nine yards. Everything. So for this deep dive, we really wanted to like unpack all of this, get to the bottom of what the metaverse actually is. Yeah. What it could become. What that potential is. And, you know, what we should be paying attention to right now. Definitely. So one thing that really jumped out at me reading through all this was, uh, yeah, like imagine going to a history class. Okay. And instead of just reading about ancient Rome, you're actually there. Oh wow! Like virtual. Yeah. No, that's and that's exactly what some platforms are already doing, which I think is super cool. Oh really? Oh yeah. yeah. No. So you've got platforms um, like Rome Reborn, and and they're using VR to create these super realistic like historical experiences wow. where you can actually walk around you know ancient rome oh that's wild it's amazing I, I mean i can see how that would be so cool for like history buff oh, oh yeah for sure i mean but think about it it goes way beyond just history oh, right definitely yeah like imagine um a surgeon okay being able to practice a procedure a really complicated procedure in VR. Oh, wow. Before they ever have to, you know, do it on a real patient. Right, like a simulation. Exactly, yeah. Or or architects being able to walk through, like, a 3D model of a building okay. with their clients. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I was reading about how some companies are already using um, virtual reality for, like, job training and stuff. Yes, which is really cool. But one thing I kept seeing was this idea of, like, digital ecosystems. Yes. What, what is that? So that's a great question. Yeah. And I think it really gets at what makes the metaverse so different, right? So we're not talking about just isolated experiences, like one-off things. Okay. We're talking about interconnected, like, virtual worlds. Oh, wow. Where you can work, you can shop, you can learn, socialize, all within the same, you know, digital space. Right. And and the way those worlds are designed, how they function, that's the ecosystem part of it. So it's like instead of websites, it's like yeah. these 3D worlds. Yeah, you got it. That you kind of like move between. Exactly. And and it's yeah. all powered by this like crazy mix of technologies, right? So you've got VR and AR for like the immersive experiences. Right. You've got AI to create like really realistic characters and environments. That's wild. Yeah. And then you've got blockchain, which a lot of people are using to manage things like um, digital ownership and yeah. transactions within those spaces. Okay, so that explains how it all works. Yeah. But I guess the big question is why? Yeah. Like, why should anyone even care about this? Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think it's because the metaverse has the potential to just fundamentally change so much. Like what? Well, think about education, for example. Yeah. Right now, access to quality education it's limited, right? It's limited by your location, by resources, by you know. Yeah, for sure. But but imagine a world where in the metaverse, anyone with an internet connection yeah. can attend the best schools, learn from the top experts, no matter where they live in the world. Wow, yeah, that would be amazing. It would be amazing. But but some of these sources also like pointed out some pretty serious concerns. Of course. With all of this, yeah. Like if our lives are going to be increasingly online, right? Who who's controlling all that data? Yeah. You know, what about privacy? Yeah, privacy is a massive, massive issue, right? And it's one we really need to be addressing now. Because if we're not careful, the metaverse could become this, like, perfect system for surveillance and data collection. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. You know, on a scale we haven't really seen before. And, and so we need to figure out how to protect individual privacy. Right. And how to make sure this tech is being used responsibly. Yeah. And, and what about access, right? Like, not everyone can afford some fancy VR headset. Right. <laughs> is is the metaverse just going to make the digital divide even worse? Yeah. That's another really, really critical point. And it's something we have to think about from the very beginning, right? Yeah. We have to make sure that the metaverse is inclusive and accessible right. to everyone, not just, you know, people who can afford the latest, you know, gadgets and gizmos, right? Yeah. Yeah. We have to design it with accessibility in mind from the start. So, I mean, it sounds like the metaverse is this incredibly powerful tool, right? It is. With the potential to do a lot of good, but also a lot of bad. Yeah. Like, it could revolutionize how we live and work. It really could. But it could also create 
a whole host of new problems. Exactly, yeah. That we have to be prepared for. It's It really is a double-edged sword. Yeah. And it's up to us to decide how we're going to use it, right? Right. We have to be thinking now about the ethical implications, the the potential for misuse, yeah. and how we build a metaverse that actually benefits everyone, not just a select few. Yeah, I think after diving deep into all of this, what I'm left with is, you know, where do you see yourself in all of this? Yeah. Is the metaverse something you're, like, excited about? Or are the risks too great? Yeah, it's it's a tough one. It's it's a lot to think about, and I hope this deep dive has given everyone, you know, some, some food for thought I mean, to, to really kind of grapple with. Because it's coming, whether we like it or not. It is. So we got to be ready. We do. And we got to make sure that the future we're building is, you know, one that we actually want to live in. 100% I agree. So that's it for this deep dive. Great talking about this. Yeah, this was a good one. Until next time, keep exploring. Yeah, see you next time. See ya. Bye.